let's do some chakra readings, shall we? I'm going to start with air signs. So air signs, there's a couple of things going on. The, the huge number one thing that jumps out right now is your heart chakra. And when something jumps out first and right away, this usually means that this is the most impactful thing that you could be working on. So I'm seeing a couple things in your heart chakra and I'm going to show them to you. So you, you have this sort of layering. So when I see this kind of like, it's almost like two heart chakras lying on top of each other, um, but almost like in different dimensions. And that's really what's happening. You have the ability to move into a higher level of consciousness, a deeper level of meaning and spirituality or whatever this, you know, whatever kind of terminology resonates with you. But you have the opportunity to level up and it's really centered in the heart chakra. So I see a couple of things. I see this uh, brighter sort of newer heart chakra energy that's right now sort of waiting to come through, but it has had some space to come through. And it's almost been trying to jockey for its position. So there's this shift in the heart chakra. I can tell that you've done a lot of work in the heart chakra, um, specifically over the last year. Um, but I think this process started about three years ago. Um, so, but right now there's just some, some things that are coming up. And this is a very um, temporary pattern that I'm seeing. So it's good that I'm seeing it today. There's some things that are coming up that are, look a little bit darker and heavier because that's what I see in the second layer. That's kind of this overlay is this darker, heavier energy. Actually, I'm, I'm just going in here to draw it a little bit darker even than I see it because this is just stuff that's like outdated. Um, we don't need that anymore and um, it's going to be pretty easy to shift through it. But I want to show it to you in these two different ways. So we have like this outer layer that's this like darker green layer. And then let me hide this layer so I can show you what's going on beneath that um, is this kind of lighter layer that's coming in. Whoops, kind of lighter layer that's coming in um, in here. So we want to work more with this lighter layer. So we're kind of going to really just be focusing on that. What we need in here is a little more, we do want some of that deeper, darker, um, more of a steady frequency in here, kind of along more of the outer layer um, of this heart chakra. And then we want to infuse it with this really kind of new, very young, brighter, um, you know, sort of like the ingenue heart chakra energy. Okay, we want that to kind of be beginning to come through in the center. So expansion in your heart chakra is going to be really important. Um, the thing that comes through is that things may feel heavy for you right now. And the idea that I'm getting is because of the expansion that you've experienced, although heavy things are happening, you, you are experiencing them differently. So they're not affecting your vibration as much. So they're really centered in the, in the heart chakra. They're not affecting the vibration as much, but they're still affecting the vibration. And it's almost like you're calm in the storm. Like, you, you recognize that there is this darkness, this heaviness, but you are not attached to it. Um, and you're feeling fairly comfortable in your way through it. But we want to continue that. And this work in the heart chakra is not only going to allow you this expansion, but it's going to give you this sense of stability. Um, and that's why we want that sort of darker, more stable green energy. And we want to allow this kind of newer energy for the heart chakra to come in. We're going to do that um, using some seed mantra chanting. Um, so that's one thing I'm just going to jot down. Seed mantras. So with seed mantras, one of the important things to do is to kind of use them. Okay, so you want to invoke this new energy, and that's what seed mantras do. They invoke this new energy. And... Um, 
then you also want to program these seed mantras, okay? So we want to tell, these are sort of like the stem cells, right? New energy cells. So we want to invoke them. That's what we do the seed mantra chanting for. And then we want to program them and we're going to use sound for that. So we're going to do, and I'll explain this like a little bit later towards the end. So we sort of have this good recap of adjustments that you can do. So we're going to do some seed mantra chants and we're going to do, uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure about the frequency right this minute. I'm just going to sit on that as we go. So we want this stability again in the um, heart chakra. And a lot of times, I mean, you're feeling very airy, but what I'm feeling is also that you're gaining some control over kind of where you float, right? You've got to be floaty. The air sign's got to air. You've got to be floaty, but we do want a little bit of control. And some people might invoke like the root chakra, the more kind of stability coming from the root chakra, but we don't actually need so much of that. Um, and that's why we're going to think about centering this reading in the heart chakra and think about the idea of you centering rather than grounding. We want you to center. So we're going to use a tiny, tiny bit of some root chakra, this feminine root chakra energy. So the root chakra is a more masculine energy, but we can get this kind of feminine sort of rose coming through there. This is actually really good for the heart chakra um, as well. So we're going to just do a little bit of rosemary. We don't want to go too crazy on the rose. Um, so a little rosemary tea. Um, you can put it in your food, but tea is going to be better. So we're going to use rosemary and then um, we'll do a little bit of visualization um, along with this. So the only other thing that I want to say is that um, because this is truly very clearly focused on your your um, your your heart chakra but um, your crown chakra looks so good right now um, I can tell this to me, it feels a lot more like meaning than it does like spirituality, but there is this idea that you're connecting with and you're sort of narrowing in on the idea of what, whatever is bigger than you, you're kind of narrowing in on what that is. And the important thing isn't to have a certain kind of something bigger than you. The important thing is to just know what it means to you. It's to have a sense of bigger meaning, even almost if you consider that allegory, um, but, or you could consider it more like nature or something bigger than you. Um, but really, I think you're moving in the direction of figuring out like what is bigger than biological life. Maybe you're asking the question, like really thinking more about like, how did we get here? Keep doing that. This is doing really good things for your crown chakra. Stay connected to that idea of something bigger. Do not get concerned about it's not like any, it's not what anybody else thinks it is, or it's not like something traditional, or you can't define it. It's not religious. It's not spiritual, whatever. This is where you're going. This is this idea of centering. When we are centered, especially when you think of you know, things more philosophically, if you're looking at like hermetic philosophy, for instance, or even to some extent Neoplatonism, where there's this idea of this one unknowable enigmatic thing that then sort of bursts the mind, the God mind, or, you know, the noose, they would call it in hermetic philosophy or Neoplatonism. Um, it's connecting into that. Um, that idea of there being like one thing and then maybe it emanates to another thing and you I feel like are really thinking about what is this one thing and Think about it. Fine Don't get caught up with what it is get caught up in the connection That's how I where I feel you're at right now So this is good in your crown chakra, but we want some of this to be coming from your heart chakra Oh, so the other thing is this idea of like things might be darker and you're finding your way through it. Seeing in the dark, this came through pretty strong. 
with your heart chakra illuminated, full, working well, open, this is your way of seeing through the dark, okay? So there's nothing that can come for you. There's nothing that can come at you. Like, you, you got it. Because even when things are dark and heavy, you just light up this heart chakra. That's what you want to picture. You just light up this heart chakra like a light in the dark. And you're going to allow this. It's like this supernatural, super special power that you are coming into. So we will use seed mantra chants. And uh, I figured out the frequency. I was going to have you do something higher maybe for the crown chakra, but I think it's good. 364.5 hertz. This is a very baseline for the heart chakra. Um, just kidding. I put that in, in, I meant, I intended to put it in in green and it came through in purple. And when it came through like that, I was like, what's wrong with this picture? We're going to use 528 hertz. So this is actually not a chakra frequency. This is a solfeggio frequency, but it's, um, you know, from what I can tell when I read the energy of it, it's really a very holistic vibration um, and it treats the whole body, but it is centered in the heart. Um, chakra and that energy emanates out so it almost gets this kind of spiraling pattern um, growing 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 from the heart chakra that's what I like about 528 Hertz um, theoretically but not evidentially it's also like aids in cellular repair and things like that you can look it up not, that none of that is proven um, so we'll do that and we'll do a rosemary tea I would do this in the morning um, once a week. Just see how once feels. Actually, see how once feels and then write your own sort of prescription for how long you're going to use it and how often. I, I don't think it's going to be more than once a day, but use it once. So take one cup of one dose of rosemary tea um, and then use your intuition to decide how often you're going to do it. Rosemary is very inexpensive. It grows a lot in people's gardens because it's almost grows like a weed. But you can also buy it at most grocery stores for like, you know, $2 for a bunch of it that you can dry um, if you want. But I, if you can get it fresh, do it fresh. Um, and then we're going to do the seed mantra chant with the sound. So the seed mantra chant for the heart chakra Y A M, yeah. Hmm. This is kind of like you always want to draw out the M, and if you can get the vibration going, yeah. Hmm. Um. That's also just good for your energy body as well, and it'll your throat chakra is looking really strong right now. So I feel like you've been, like, just used your voice. Like suddenly you were like, I don't even know why this was hard. I just was able to use my voice, and you've been really strong in your own power and gaining context for what things mean, which is part of what's aiding your, your crown chakra. Um, but just a little bit, you know, giving almost, it's like showing gratitude for that throat chakra by doing the chant and, and doing it, you know, aloud rather than kind of in your mind. Um, so just draw that out. I would do it for three minutes. Um, silent. Okay, just you and the chant. Don't put the 528 on. After your three minutes, so in this three minutes, you are generating new vibrational cells, right? They're not cells, but I'm using this analogy. So new vibrational stem cells. In that three minutes, you are invoking them. You're producing them, right? You're generating this new energy. Then you're going to put on this 528 hertz and you're going to program them. And you're going to program them at this base level frequency. And theoretically, this heart chakra frequency is, you know, the, the substrate of reality, right? It is sort of the vibration of the initial one thing, whatever the one, you know, thing is. Again, this is all, you know, theoretical, philosophical, belief-based stuff, okay? It's, I share these things because I get them when I, you know, 
get my mystic insights. And um, so I share them just to help you find your way, not to indoctrinate you or to tell you that the, this is the way things are. Um, the only other thing I would do is some visualization, um, not related, you know, to the heart chakra, but this will still work on the vibration. You are coming into purposeful work, really deep heart-based, soul-based work, whether you're getting paid for that right now or not, um, you are coming into that and you need to visualize your success. There's good evidence that visualization works. So you're going to visualize, you can do this, you know, almost imagine that you're just daydreaming, really. Because when you're doing visualization, you want to visualize your success. So what is it that you want? Don't get caught up on you have to know exactly what it looks like, okay? Like you have an idea. What do your heart's desires look like, right? What is enoughness? Where are you just like, if I just had these things, I'd, I'd be great, you know? Visualize what that looks like for you. Feel, so that's a vibration in itself, just the visualization. There's things happening in your brain. It's adjusting, you know, your actual body chemistry, but it's also adjusting your vibrational chemistry as well. Um, and then if you can invoke the emotional body, this is going to hit more of the energy centers, which is going to have a larger impact on the shift of your vibration and the emotions themselves at this different biological component and different, you know, subtle energy or vibrational component. So visualize, feel into the visualization, you know, 10 to 12 minutes, 13 comes up for somebody, I don't know. Um, just do that. Just let yourself, don't overthink it. Just let yourself have this time to daydream. This works. And again, there's evidence. It works. That's why people like, you know, Oprah Winfrey use it and LeBron James. So um, that's your reading air signs. Hope you like it.